Welcome back. We've got a little surprise for you today. One of my girlfriends stopped in for kind of an impromptu visit. So we are going to teach you how to apply individual lashes. So if you want to see, stay tuned. Alright, so today we're going to be using the Kiss Lash Couture Faux Lash Extensions. And these are the individual lashes and they go from short to medium. So we're going to be applying um, probably a little bit of both. We'll apply some of the short and some of the medium just to build definition and length to the eyelashes. Alright, so we're going to go in with the medium lashes and start from the outside. Just because you want to have more length on the outer edge of your lashes. So that's where we will start. I'm going to use the House of Lashes dark glue. And you're going to take just a little bit. Oops. Good job, put it on the tip right here. You're going to give it about 30 seconds to dry. And then I'm going to have her close her eyes and disregard all the glue that I have on my fingers right now. And with a pair of tweezers, I'm just going to place it right here on the outer edge. And please disregard my makeup. I've had this on since 7 this morning. <laughs> Just to let you know this is mine. My doing, not Kim's, okay? So don't judge. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you can add that in later. <laughs> and you're just going to want to place them right next to each other on the lash line. Oh, I can already tell the difference. So we're going to go, I'll probably do about three or four of the medium length lashes on the outer edge of her eye. And then we'll start going in with the short lashes. See right here how it's already building length right here on the outer edges of the eyes and it's also given a little bit of definition so we'll probably go in with one more medium just to add a little bit more right there and then we'll start going in with the short lashes all right so you can already see right here compared to the other side I don't want to poke her in the face but Right here, you can kind of tell the difference. So we're gonna take the shorter lashes and go from where we've left off right about here and probably just go to the middle of the eyelid with the short lashes and then we'll use some mascara to kind of blend in. Regardless if you're using individual lashes or regular strip lashes you always want to go in with mascara afterwards and blend your regular lashes in I love that. Wish my everyday lashes look like that. <laughs> Wish my real lashes were black. What color are your lashes? I guess they're black. I just don't have a lot of them. <laughs> You're really lucky that they're black though. I 
blonde or super blonde. Oh, they're blonde, but then they get like really, really like white blonde on the tips on it. I remember that. Cause mm -hmm. I used to never believe you. Mm-hmm. Until you saw me without. And then without I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I remember. Alright, there we go. Alright, go ahead. Alright, so we went mm -hmm. ahead and applied, I think, four short lashes from right about here over. So you can see kind of that extra definition that it's given her on the outer edge. And you can definitely go across, all the way across if you want. I just kind of feel like individual lashes are meant more to kind of build on the outer edge of the lash line than to go all the way across. So we'll go ahead and apply some mascara and zoom back out a little bit. That way you can kind of see the full effect. I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. So it looks like that right there. And we're just gonna kind of blend those lashes. And you always wanna go in with like an extremely black mascara when you're using false lashes just because normally unless you get like a blended lash it's going to be an extremely black color so you want it to match you want your lashes to match the false lashes that you're putting on So there you go, and you can see just what a couple of individual lashes, what a difference they make on your eyes. We went ahead and did Casey's, let me think about that, sorry, left hand, I mean left, left eye. <laughs> <laughs> so, I dropped this, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> We're just a hot mess this time around. Okay, okay. Here we go. It's okay. <laughs> so, um, we already did the left eye and we did four of the medium individual lashes and four of the short individual lashes and what we did was we went and took some of these medium lashes and just kind of built up some definition on the outer um, edge of the eye and then we took some shorter lashes from where we ended the medium and kind of built up to the middle of the eye. You can take it all the way over if you want um, I just don't like to do that with individual lashes. I think that's more of like a strip lash thing to do. I just think that individual lashes are kind of to build that extra definition to the eyelid. So I kind of like to just keep them from the outer edge to kind of the middle. I'm in love with this eye. <laughs> I need this every day. Good. I'll kind of show you this process. Is just take one of these medium lashes Helps if I can probably take it from the top right here and just kind of pop it off right here you'll see this little end and then just take a little bit of glue literally just dab it on like that let it dry for about 30 seconds and then place it on and I like to use tweezers for this just because you get a little bit more precision of where you're putting the actual lash versus your fingers. You can always kind of go back in with your fingers and move them around. <laughs> you can always go back in with your fingers and kind of move them around once you've got it placed on the lash line. And it also just depends on the lashes that you're dealing with as to the angle that you have to go at. Like, 
Casey, some of her lashes are like almost down. So I have to kind of angle it and go straight down onto the lash line. Mm -hmm. Versus some people who don't have as curly of lashes. You can kind of just place it right on. Oh, I'm just in love with these. Can I just have these every day? I think you just like my toe. <laughs> Dallas has decided to join us in case y'all are wondering. <laughs> yeah, they're like, I'm just looking at her toe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go in with one more medium right here on the outer edge. And just like the left eye, I'm just kind of lining them up right beside each other. And you don't necessarily have to do that either. You can kind of place them in different spots around your eye if you wanted to. Alright, so we did about the same amount on this side as we did over here. So we did about four mediums, so we'll probably take about the same short. Like I was saying a minute ago, you don't necessarily have to place them side by side on the lash line. You can kind of place them if you have areas that are kind of more sparse or just areas that you kind of want to build more definition. You don't have to place them side by side. Yeah, because I definitely have some gaps in my eyelashes. So I'm sure you'll see that. Like you did on the other side. These lashes are going to go on. Like, no, not today. I want you to get them on even if you kind of want to mess around. The glue hasn't completely dried yet, so you can play with them a little bit because the glue is still tacky. So that's also a good time to kind of mess with the shape that you want. And I didn't show this on the other eye, but you can see, she kind of has a spot like right here um, in the middle of her eye that is a little bit more bare than the other places. So over here, I did the same. I kind of had to put one on top of the other. So that's kind of what I'm gonna have to do right here. Is just place one right over another, which is totally fine, you can do that too. I always say I feel like people think that there's so many rules to make up, but you can kind of do whatever you want. So we made that work, and now we're going to throw some mascara on this as well, and then we'll be all done. And again, we're just using the mascara to go in and blend the natural lashes with the false eyelashes. Alright, so 
So we have completely finished the individual eyelashes on each eye and I also will um, post some pictures along with the video and on my Facebook or and YouTube and Instagram channels as well. So if you haven't followed me on any of those yet, please do. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media on Instagram and Facebook as Glam by Kimberly M. And I want to say thank you to my best friend Casey for stopping by tonight while she's in town um, so that we could film this video for y'all. We've been talking about it for a couple of months now, but we haven't really been able to get our schedules together to actually film. So when she stopped by tonight, we were like, hey, we'll just go grab some lashes and film. So we made it happen. Yes, we did. So we hope that y'all appreciate it.